Hey guys, welcome back. I just wanted to give another quick update. Um, my previous video showed that Nova had a brain tumor, I was calling it, because I suspected the problem was in her new brains, which as you can see there, I now have disconnected. Um, I've determined that that actually, with her legs going spastic, was a software problem. It was my foolish mistake, so that is fixed. However, I still have a problem. Um, which I suspect is electrical and most likely due to the nano brain. However, like I just pointed out, it's all disconnected. The only piece left that is still disconnected is underneath her is the um, buck converter for that. So that is still connected, but it's not feeding anything. So I doubt that's the issue, but that's my next step is to disconnect that. And then I'm back where I started where she was working fine, so let me show you what happens. No matter what I do, so I've disabled all of her components, except for the motors and the buzzer. And I have her automatically go into a little march gate that I, that I wrote. Now this all used to work fine, as you've seen in my previous videos. I used my serial monitor to send her commands, to test legs, all this fun stuff. Uh, nothing works. I mean, it works, but randomly and without much time passing she just hangs up so here i'm uploading the code now that just sends her straight into the march routine and you'll see after anywhere from 2 to 15 20 seconds she'll just stop and i'm 99 percent sure this is not code because i've also rolled there you go it just hangs. I have no more response in the serial monitor. I can't do anything. So I know it's not code. Also because I've rolled back to version 3.2, which was, I had no problems with her at that point. I had her on the ground for, you know, an hour or more without any problems. So, yeah, there's something going on between the last couple of versions and or the hardware changes. But again, the only hardware changes I recall making are related to that nano circuit which is now, as I said, completely disconnected. So I'm going to disconnect the buck converter underneath, and then if the problem still exists, uh, I'm going to be at a loss here, guys. Unfortunately, as I've said many times, I'm not an electrical engineer. Um, I wish I owned and knew how to use an oscilloscope. This problem would probably be solved pretty quick. Uh, I do have one of these silly DIY oscilloscopes, but I don't really know how to use it, so it was kind of just a fun project to put together. Okay, so, a couple of other things. Um, I did mention in a previous video that there was a discrepancy in the height of these two, two end shoulder pieces, so I had to put a spacer along with my brace. Well, shout out to Steffi, who's also rebuilt, is um, building one of these. She had no problem, so I came back and took a second look, and dummy me actually put my new extender piece on the rear upside down. And that made it off just a little bit. So her whole ass end is three millimeters lower than her front end, but that was my fault. So pay attention when you're assembling, and you should be good and not have that problem. Another issue, which hopefully none of you will run into, but shout out to Steffi again. She had the same problem, so I figured I would mention it to you all. Um, when we were having that issue with the legs going haywire, unfortunately, this happened to me and Steffi, um, with the USB connected and the legs go haywire, they can often hit that wire and pull on the USB port, and in my case, it actually broke it right off of the Mega. So I had to unwire everything and replace my Mega. Thankfully, I have a surplus supply of them because I love that board, so I was able to you know, be back up and running in no time. However, just be aware of that. So now what I'm doing is I have this right angle USB cable that, I've, that I'm using and I tape it to her body right here. So the wire is out of the way. Um, even in testing the legs, very unlikely they're going to hit that now and damage it. So be, be careful of that. While you're developing and moving her legs around, you could very well break your mega board and that's a bad thing. Alright, so yeah, that's where I'm at, guys. Hopefully if I can figure out this electrical issue, then I will be 100% right back where I was in a good place to put all my time into software and get her running around the living room. <laughs> okay, everyone, have a great day. Thanks.